old cameo that I have I have loved for a long time but it was very expensive. Oh yeah. can I see it? Sure. Oh it's a beautiful look. I wish you hadn't. But I think oh, you very that beautiful much. looks good. Really well aren't you gonna give him a thank you kiss? Really? Come on. Yeah, go give him a kiss. <laughs> a kiss. I love it. I could get a kiss. Well, come on. You guys have to open your presents, too, you know. It's not just us. Laura, get something come for on, you. Laura, get something for Amy. Okay. Come on. Laura, why don't you uh, open one for me first, okay? Okay. Uh, here it is. Uh, uh, I wonder what it is. I don't know. It's heavy. <laughs> something you can use, I think. <laughs> something I can use? Well, now you have a book, and uh, <clears throat> we expect a dinner invitation. And you'll get it, too, I promise. Good. Okay, let's open something for Amy. I mean, let's let Amy open her own okay. present. <laughs> 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 I should do it. Yeah, we have two the same, and I'm no, dying no, no, they're not the same. They're just similar. Oh. Can I get the paper off of it? She wraps very well. They're probably the same thing, so whoever does it. Not the same. No. Oh, it's a watch. It's beautiful. Oh, really? Thank you. Well, thank you. I, I guess you like them, huh? Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, you're so oh, welcome. You're both oh. so welcome. I'm glad you like them. Laura, let me take a little look at that. Look. Now I really great? feel like Oh, that is really terrific. This year I feel like a real oh, Weber. Lord. Well, you should. You are. Everything's so wonderful. I hope that we'll always be together and that nothing will ever separate us. These are great, Jeff. Just like real boxing gloves. Yeah, a little too much like uh, boxing gloves. Hey, why don't you take it easier? I'm going to end up with a cauliflower face, you know? Yeah, well, your brain's punched out. Yeah. Your brain. Easy, oh. big fella, or sig this guy on you. I got the feeling I should have gotten two pairs of gloves so you and Tommy can beat your brains out together. That's more fun to pick on you. Hey, Jeremy. Not in the mood. No, hit him below the belt. Okay. Wait a minute, Joe. What are you trying to teach him? Facts of life. Oh, Thanks. Good. Dad, well, you know we can't go outside because of the snow with the bikes. But can't we go outside and play with the sled? I don't see why not, son. Is it all right with you, Andy? Fine. As long as they're back in an hour, I want them all cleaned uh, up for dinner, all sure, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Hey, Joe, you want to come with us? Why not? I suppose I could manage to push you guys down a couple of steep hills, eh? Yeah! yeah. Too <laughs> steep. Oh, I'm not hurt. Children, me love ah! children. Ah! Medium rare. Oh, ah. okay. Well, if uh, nobody Help! minds, I think Bye. I'll drop by the hospital for a while. Oh, fine. But be sure to be back in time for dinner. Oh, I promise you. I'll be all back right. in plenty of time. Come on, Joe. Okay, coming, coming. Hey, listen, no, anybody talk about me while I'm gone. Oh, I personally can't think of a thing to say. <laughs> oh, really? Be careful now, everyone. Hey, Joe. I will. Oh, well, now, I think that I will go out and check the turkey and about three other things. Oh, well, then I'll help you. No, 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 no. You stay here and talk to Jeff. I can manage. Oh, okay. Well, you just yell if you need me, okay? I certainly will. My yell is known all over the neighborhood. <laughs> Well, alone at last, eh? Ah. You know, this um, has been quite a lovely Christmas morning. And I want to thank you for being so generous with the boys. Well, Christmas is for kids. The rest of us are just intruders. Mm. 
Annie, you mind if I ask why you're uh, wearing Joe's ring on that particular hand? Why isn't it over there on your ring finger, eh? I wish everybody would misunderstand about this ring. It's a friendship ring, Jeff. It doesn't hold any lasting commitments or anything like that. Well, I think what Joe has in mind is a little more than friendship. Joe cannot afford to think of marriage. I mean, even if he could, I, I wouldn't be able to accept if he could. Oh? Why not? Don't you love him? Jeff! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to pry. Do you? That is not a very easy question to answer. Why? What's hard? Either you do or you don't. I... I, I don't know how I feel about him. I, um, I am not very experienced when it comes to being in love. Go ahead and laugh if you want. I'm not laughing. That's an awfully loud smile. I don't mean it to be, uh... Listen, I was just thinking that you sort of remind me of Laura every once in a while. You might be a little older, but... You're both kind of shy, but honest, with a little naivete thrown in for good taste. Not necessarily a blessing. Well, listen, it's a very, very attractive combination of qualities. Tell me something. Do you really not know what kind of an impact you have on men? Me? Yeah, you. Take me, for instance. I mean, it's a good thing that Christmas only comes around once a year and we don't have mistletoe hanging around everywhere. I gotta tell you, I had a hard time getting to sleep last night thinking about what it was like kissing you. I can't really believe it. It's mink. That's right, it sure is, and you look good in it. And don't be so impressed, Ruby, with one little gift. When the money really starts rolling in, honey, you're going to be walking on sable. I am already walking on air. I don't need sable. Oh, you're going to look so fine New Year's Eve. You're going to put all those society dames to shame. When you walk into that ball, it's going to be like Cinderella, her own self. Oh, honey, I can't go to that ball. I haven't got anybody to go with. Sure you do. You got me, oh. and so does Bobby. I would like the pleasure of escorting the two most beautiful women in Port Charles to that ball. <laughs> Lucky you. Thank you. I think it would be nice. I would enjoy it. And as a matter of fact, you ought to enjoy it too. Both of you, you deserve to get out and do some of the things that some of the women in this town do. You're as good as them. You're better than most of them. Now you're going to have the money to back it all up. Well, I'm going to hang up my coat before they repossess it. Oh. <laughs> they won't, Bobby. Don't worry. Oh, honey, come here. I want to talk to you while we've got a second about something. Okay, what? Well, I, it's some stuff Bobby's been telling me. What'd she tell you? About you. Are you really mixed up with the Baldwin girl? Ruby, I don't want to talk to you about this. Honey, listen to me just this once. I never have told you what to do. But I'm really worried about you. I don't want you to get hurt. The Baldwin girl is not for you. In fact, almost any man that she gets mixed up with is going to get destroyed. Take my word. You are headed for trouble. Well, Mrs. Grant tried something new today. She tried cooking the turkey breast side down, and I didn't know about that, but it's really doing very well. It smells just heavenly. Yeah. You sure I can't help with anything? There's nothing to be done, besides which Amy is in the kitchen making her world-famous gelatin mold, which doesn't really leave a lot of room for anybody else. I know. I remember how she used to take over the kitchen. There'd be pots and pans everywhere. Where are Rick and Scotty? Oh, I forgot to tell you, Scotty went with Dad to the hospital to do his afternoon uh, rounds. Dad said something about wanting to check on Monica and the baby. I see. Well, I hope they won't be too long. No, no, they said they'd hurry back. You know, that's such a beautiful cameo that Dad gave you. Yes, it is. Do you really like the scarf? I love it. Okay. I told you that. <laughs> I love all of my presents. I think you were very extravagant and very generous. No, I'm afraid that is the one thing that I wasn't. I tried to pick out something that you'd both like within a very narrow budget. <laughs> Laura, as long as we have a couple of minutes, tell me about last night. I've been so happy for you. W was it just the 
spirit of Christmas that did it or what? Yeah, I guess it was. Scotty gave me a star for the top of the Christmas tree. Oh. And it was just such a lovely evening. He was so sweet and so gentle. And then afterwards we made love. And it was really all right for you. Sure. Laura. Oh, really? It was beautiful. Well, what's wrong? What wasn't quite right? Tell me. Oh, well, it, it just wasn't as good for me as it was for him. But it's all right. It was just good to be man and wife again. I mean, it wasn't the way it used to be, but at least it wasn't ugly and it didn't hurt physically. It was a very positive step forward. I love Scotty. And I know that one day it's, it's really going to be the way it used to be before the rape. I'm sure you're right. Mother, mm -hmm. I've had this funny feeling today that there's something wrong. Oh? Uh, like what? Well, with you. You haven't been the same since you delivered Monica's baby. Well, that was a pretty emotional experience, you know. And that's all? Well, no, but I can't really talk about it right now. Why not? Because Amy is liable to come in from the kitchen any minute, and... I, I tell you what. We will talk about it, you and I, after the holidays, and I'll, I'll tell you a couple of things that you're going to have to know anyway. I really don't like the sound of it. No, that. no, no. Now, come on. Let's not worry about it today. Let's, let's talk about, oh, let's talk about Christmas things today. <laughs> you really, really, really like your watch. Oh, I love it, and I love you and Dad, too. You've been so wonderful, so understanding, and so patient. You know, I'm still very sorry for all the trouble that I've caused you this year. If there really were a Santa Claus, I wouldn't be getting any presents because I really don't deserve them. Not true. Anyhow, I really don't know what I would do without you. I mean, I love being married to Scotty and everything, but somehow it's more important to me to know that you and Dad are happy. And I'll tell you a secret, too. Sometimes I find myself being just a little bit jealous of Amy. Of Amy? Why? Well, you know, she's living here with you and Dad now. She's staying in my bedroom, and she has all the advantages of being near you and Dad. I don't know. That's selfish, mean, cruel of me. It isn't selfish or mean or cruel. It's just maybe a little bit pointless. Oh. My goodness. Amy could never take your place. Don't you know that? You have absolutely no reason to be jealous of Amy. You're my daughter. You're the one I love. <laughs> hey, boy, is it cold out there. Oh, oh it's fun. Thanks for playing with us, Jeff. Well, it was my pleasure, fellas. I had as good a time as you did, but I think it'd be a good idea if you went upstairs and get ready for dinner now. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, got my chemistry suit. Well, you better sure, make sure you wash up before you come down. Yeah, okay. Now, why don't you make some soap and wash your hands? Hey, Tommy. Hey, it's no fair blowing up the house for dinner. Tommy, if you can get some sodium bicarbonate. Hello, Joe. How'd the sledding go? Well, it was cold. It was so cold that I almost turned into a snowman, except for the, with the carrot for the nose. With it. Hey, with it. That might look really good. I am going to go see if I can do something constructive in the kitchen to help Audrey, so if you excuse me. Bye. So how goes it at the hospital, Stephen? Thankfully, very quiet. Listen, I really wish I could stick around for dinner. It really smells good around here. Yeah. Why well, can't you? Well, um, Aunt Alice is coming by. We're going to go up and see Heather. Well, well, couldn't you go after dinner? I'd really like to, Steve, but uh, the roads are pretty bad and it's a long drive. Don't want to take a chance, you know? Yeah, that's true. Oh, I'm sure Anne's going to be disappointed, though. Well, I explained it to her. I'm sure she understands. Look, uh, while we're all sitting around, why don't we uh, touch bases and see how we're doing with uh, the search for Mrs. Hadley. Have you made any further progress, Joe? No, not much. Uh, as I told you before, we found out that she was alive and in Chicago. As to where she's living, operating from, we have no further clues. We're just tracking down some leads on that. Any idea how long it might take? Well, I'll try and give you a ballpark estimate of two weeks. 
say two weeks before we come up with something. It just takes a lot of time and patience. Well, when that time comes, I'm going to arrange for Jeff to have some time off so he can fly to Chicago and talk to the woman. Great. I really hope you can find her, Joe. Oh, we'll find her. We'll just keep at it. Just keep at it with time and patience. And lots of money. Oh, I get that. <laughs>